Hi, I'm Alan McRobbie at Sailing Company, and welcome to our second session on the PicoScope 3000 series uh, oscilloscope situation here. We've got uh, we've got one of the 3000 MSO units, and I had warned people about that earlier, about making sure that if you need the digital inputs that you order the MSO type, I'll just remind people of that at this point. What we're going to do today is we're going to just look at, uh, take a brief look at some serial decoding. That's one of the features that's available in the PicoScope 6 application, and we'll take a, a very nice look on the screen. Uh, what I've got is I've got a, a program called Doclight generating some serial traffic, and, this, and the traffic actually is saying what the model number of this particular scope here is. And so when you see the screen, you'll be able to tell what model we're talking about. And I'm just bringing it out through a, an RS-232 or USB to serial converter uh, item over here, and we're looking at the TX and RX with two channels. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go over to the screen, and I'm going to show you uh, what it actually looks like uh, while it's decoding, and then we're going to we're going to then see what steps I had to take to get there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at serial decoding here. And what we've got is we've got the two or two of the four analog channels on the picoscope looking at the TX and RX of some serial data that I've got coming out of the computer generated by a program called Doclight. It's a very easy program to use and I'm just generating uh, a short burst of RS-232 and the data that's coming across happens to be the model number of this particular scope. So we'll get to look at that. Okay, now we're going to go to the screen and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do serial decoder setup. Okay, what we're going to do so you go up to the tools menu right here and you bring out serial decoding right there and it says click create to add a decoder so that's easy just click it now you can see all the different kinds of decoders features here that you've got to work with we're going to choose UART RS-232 because that's what we're doing so the data we're going to do is going to be on the B channel and I know that I have to invert this so I'm going to check, check that box there you can see that you also have thresholds and, and hysteresis values you can add in there. The configuration is, is your serial framing, and this has all been set up so that it, it equals uh, what Doclight is doing, and the order is LSB first. Okay, we're going we're gonna to name the trace, and I'm just going to say it's uh, loopback test, and you'll see that pop up there, which is nice. And there's two ways to display the, the packet information that comes across. Um, one place is actually on the graph, and we'll see that. And then there's another cable that comes up at the bottom, and we'll pull that up too. I want this one to be in ASCII so that we can read it conveniently. All right, but the, the dock light is in hex, and so I can use that to conveniently compare. So then you just say OK, and then you say OK, like that, OK? And everything is popped right up. So I'm just going to pause this really quick just so we can look at it. Okay. Well, let's see. I paused it and then it went away, so we'll try it again. Let's go. Start. Okay. We'll just do a single so it does it correctly that time. Okay. So this is good. Uh, we have our TX on top in blue, and we have the RX coming through here. And you can see the little packets here, and it says, PS3405DMSO uh, with a carriage return. I throw those in. Okay, and so then down here at the bottom, you can also see the same information. And this is just this is just basically what you get without doing anything extra. Is that you can see that you have start times and end times, and you have data right in here. Here's my carriage return at the end, right there. And so uh, this is this is pretty helpful. You can export this information. You can link it to other programs that you want to use it with. Um, there's some statistics that are available. It's a little bit beyond the scope of this short presentation to go into all of these things, but I just wanted you to let you see how easy it was to set up one of these 
the serial decoder um, schemes and what you get and what it looks like. So that's what we're that's what we've done today. So thanks for watching.